we're gonna pop into Saren Fate. So, if you guys don't know Saren Fate, it's a really great, cute little game. It's a it's a small development. Um, the developer is Vethrogen, and they are very active on their Discord. He's a very nice person. He's a good human. Um, I did get into the alpha for this game so this key is gifted to me however they are giving away a demo of the game this weekend only on steam you have to join their discord Saren fate which is the first one that we're going to play it's uh they have it on their steam page as uh that the Saren fate stone has turned you into a witch now it's time to learn some magic, tidy up your apprentice hut, and find a few battle-worthy familiars. With your new spells, a couple copper, and some unique friends, can you brave the land? So it's a really, really cute game. It's kind of like Stardew Valley meets Pokemon, a whole bunch of other stuff. It's really, really cute. Um, Cretivo is the publisher. They have done a couple of other games. Uh, they've done Farm Folks. They did Universe Sim, which is a big one right now. I see a lot of people playing on, on Twitch right now. Um, so we're going to delve into Saren Fate. I have not touched it yet. I'm really excited. If you guys really like it, I would wishlist it on Steam so that you would know when it releases. It releases on March. Um, it releases this month, actually. So that's really exciting. So we're going to pop into that game and we're going to see Saren Fate. I'm really excited. So let's do it. The art style is very cute. I know that there's so many games that are, everybody keeps saying they're very Stardew Valley-ish and you know, well Stardew Valley ripped off of Harvest Moon, which is all of that. But realistically, like this is a really cute game. I've watched a couple of people play it. Uh, this is the first time that I've played it. So I'm actually really excited. I love the premise of it. So, let's dive in. <laughs> Little Corvids! Long ago, the world was covered in darkness, where only vile monsters roamed at the surface. And then the fate stone fell from the sky. <laughs> it scared me a little bit. <laughs> In an instant of destruction and light, the world changed. As rune stones rained down, many of the monsters were cleansed of evil. Creatures and peoples were imbued with magic. They became chimera and witches. Oh, we get to be witches! The stone would continue to maintain balance and enrich the world with new witches. Unless someday darkness intervenes. But much time has passed. And today, new witches are born in Chimera Kingdom. Oh, this is so cute! How will the past unfold? We're in Midtown. Forward plus W A S D to walk around. Shift to sprint. Okay, that's very that's normal. Oops, I clicked too fast. To interact and explore, press E to interact in the world. The E key is used for many things, including gathering, talking, buttons, levers, finding secrets. So E everything. To use the hot bar slots, press space to use current selected slot. Use mouse wheel to scroll to scroll which slot is selected. Items may be may vary in use, like placeables and consumables. 
Use a spell tome from your hot bar with space. Obelisks may also have spells. To cast a spell, you must have learned to spell. Yeah, I know, that's really helpful. This is, I like when games... <laughs> hey, Emrys, how are you? I like when games take the same types of controls from other games that you're kind of familiar with and keep that same kind of mapped key because it's just when you're having a weird type of key for different things it's really helpful to have it all together so that's really nice so the cast a spell you must have learned to spell you can find runes um try these for wood cutting left click a tree's base to save your game this is a save stone to save you must find one and press e okay oh that's me oh look at my cool skull light the candles yes no no we don't want to enable hard mode <laughs> I was unavailable in pre-alpha, and that's where we're at right now. <laughs> I love the hair! Wow. <laughs> oh no! Wait, how do I... Oh yes! A game within a game! I love these! Oh, I'm so good! Cute! <laughs> That's really cute! Alright, we're gonna eat everything. Oh, I got a notebook! Middle mouse to access key items. Oh, okay! That's for all my magic. Alright, alright. Oh, I got an apple. And some money. Always helpful. I got a map of the world. Okay. Too early to sleep. Okay, so it's one of those games where you can't just sleep the whole day away. That's good. A witchery dex. I think that's for the little guys that I have to find. I love the music. Oh, do I live in a treehouse? I don't mean to. My bad. Uh oh, how do I leave? That's it. I'm stuck. Trapped in the treehouse. Student relax in this chill music. I'm okay with that. Oh! Another face to lend my reflection to. You're talking! Yes, of course. I'm one of the few magic mirrors. The owner of this house. Where be she? Uh, she be here. Good. Good mirror. Gone, some monsters maybe got her. Tragic. Okay, moving on. Is Evry's in this mirror? If there's really no one else, this means you're the new master. Welcome home. Let's see here. There's good news and bad news. You know the question. What'll it be? Good news or bad news? I like the bad news first, personally. Bad news, eh? We make it along after all. Oh, the bad news is this is pre-alpha and you cannot progress in the story. The good news is you're a witch! The darkness is brewing. Necromancers are more powerful than ever. You're probably run out of mana after one spell. The forest is not far from here is filled with monsters and I hope you cover me back up and wander off into it. That sounded better on paper. Any matter. Let us start from the beginning. My name is Kane. What is your name? Wireless. What 
what is your save file name? Wireless Alpha. Wireless Alpha, that's fine. How are you feeling? Like a sapling. Electric. Bright and radiant. Glowing. Dark and mysterious. How are we feeling? You guys get to decide. How are we feeling? I'm personally feeling dark and mysterious, but that might just be my lipstick. Dead is not an You guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, just me? <laughs> that sounds like electric to me. Bright and radiant? We'll go with bright and radiant. Oh. Oh, dear. Last question. What is your favorite color? Hey, Gina, how are you? So we've got red, purple, blue, green, orange. My personal favorite color is orange, but we're going to do purple. Yep. We're doomed. I can feel the tides changing already. Right. Last but not least, save stones are scattered across the world. Do not forget to change save your game. For all our sakes, continue to ignore the skull in the other room. Okay, I'm good at that. I can do that. Oh, okay, cool. I can change all my stuff. I feel a sudden attunement to the sun. I could look like Goku. That's the situation here. Let's go purple. Oh, so cute! I want space buns! Black like the color of my soul. Guys. Oh, I'm too pale. Holy cow. <laughs> Nothing? Okay, bye. That's a little better. Oh, girl. <laughs> my mom's favorite color. I love orange. Orange is my my favorite color. I like it. I think it's ex it's a fun, exciting color. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. <gasps> Hello, wireless. Ah, uh, yes. This hut brings back memories. It does look a bit overgrown, doesn't it? I do apologize. The other apprentices this year already claimed the normal housing. Not to fret. You can have this place. And I'm sure Kane is... Fantastic company, as always. Now, what interests you most as a new witch? Okay, there is no other answer to this other than fishing. There's no other answer. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. There just isn't. Fishing! Excellent! Take this magic trinket. Next up. It is tradition that new witches be bonded with a familiar. Today I have brought three lovelies. I get to pick my Pokemon, guys! Bitching and fishing. That's what you do while you're fishing. You just bitch about stuff. I get to pick my Pokemon. Take your time and feel which one you're drawn to. <laughs> Sorry, I won't. I won't talk anymore. Oh, where's my rival? <laughs> okay. It's a Sporsa. That's a beautiful Sporsa. Sporsa is called a chimera, and is just one of the many different species of chimera. If you take care of your chimera, they'll take care of you. <laughs> Smell you later, Gramps. Oh my god. Would you like to hear more about your chimera? Yes, please. Sporsa spend most of their time camouflaged as indigenous fungi. And relaxing. Wow, that's a mood. Chimera and the magical or magical runic creatures come in all manners of shapes and sizes. They can be equipped by witches like yourself and used to fight monsters. 
You can also put Chimera in a pen where it is where a care for it may create useful ingredients. I'm so thankful when I have little monsters and they have use. I'll let you discover the rest on your adventures. If you find some new species, be sure to bring them by the Witch's Guild. Until next time, young witch. Smell you later, witch. Toodles! <laughs> Try using the middle mouse button to open your inventory, then equip your trinket and chimera. Oh! I'm not sure, at least I've never actually I've never played this game yet. Alright. Alright, let's see. Call cool, on the tail on people. <laughs> So relaxing. I get some bugs. Garden, place soil, place seed, and then add water. Okay. There's my house. What do you? Alright, let's. Ah! Wow. I don't know what just happened, but it did. <laughs> Do I have energy that I have to be concerned with? Okay, I think I have... How big is my... How full is my inventory? Mana bowl. Okay, those are my spells. What's this? Oh, there are crows up there. Hey, Joey, how are you? Thank you for joining me. All right, let's explore. Can I put the crows in the bug test? Soil? Oopsies. It's copper. I'm doing great, Joey. Thank you for asking. I'm enjoying taking a look at this game. Alright, let's see what we gotta do. Let's go and see what's in here. Go back down. That's the creative garden. It's over here. Next area. All right, now we're in Midtown. <laughs> I 
These birds scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> it's been going great, Joey. Thank you so much for asking. Magical ability increased. We learned a spell called Capture. Let's go to our skills. Oh, okay. Speedy Rod, Sense of Four. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that we can do. Cool! Kind of like a magic Stardew Valley and Pokemon. Okay. This is a slime. Increase to level one. Oh, I gotta wait for my mana to recharge. That's right. Wow. I'm canceled for killing slimes. That's okay. Killing slimes is wrong, I don't want to be right. Hmm. Alright, let's figure this out. So our mana just recharged. I'm guessing we have to be closer to the slime. Oh, we have to be in battle mode, that's okay. That makes sense to me, okay. Initiate battle mode, and then... Alright, we'll get there. We're gonna get there. <laughs> We're gonna figure that out. I'm halfway dead, but it's fine. Okay. I guess I have to click on it while I release Z, seems like. Oh, this is cute! Look at this little town! <laughs> What's here? Tess's hut. Who's Tess? I'm not good enough friends with Tess to answer. Oh, everybody's so cute. Look, they're all so happy. Are you Devlin? Hey, he's a kitty person! Fuse? Check. Paper? Check. Black powder? Damn it. What do you want? I feel that on a personal level. <laughs> oh, this must be like the witch's gallery. Uh, no, I don't want to buy any, any Sarah juice, but thank you. All this, I guess, shows how many of the Chimera that I have. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the Witch's Guild. Feel free to use the elevator, and Head Witch Coco is just up those stairs. I can be lazy and take the elevator. Okay, I'm cool with that. Oh, okay. Let's do that after. Let's go meet the Head Witch first. 
see what else is here. Pokemon have got a cute fake nose. Oh, it's her! Welcome to the Witches Guild. Fun fact, I love Sarah Juice. Okay, please make yourself comfortable. Think of the guild as a second home. Right away, head upstairs and meet Icarus. Oh, and for your final task, bring me some Sarah Juice. I'm just yanking your broomstick. Right, for your first assignment. Your very first one. What are we talking about? No matter. If you do find a, ramble, a bramble shroom, please bring me one. I think she's been hitting the Sarah Juice a little bit too hard. I don't have level 10 witchery yet. Cool. Let's go to the battle room. Maybe that'll help me figure out what I have to do. <laughs> Someone shows my party city, like, how dare you? <laughs> this, this kid is literally every kid in World of Warcraft. You call that DPS? Step up to get beat down. Okay, battle mode. So I guess I'm supposed to charge it up to five. Okay. Weak sauce. I'm sorry, combat kid, please. It's my first day. Please don't judge me. I have no mana. He's dragging me right now. That's okay. I wish I had a sword. Uh, library. Oh, look at the cool bird guy. Greetings. Move along. Okay. if you can bring books to the library. I wonder if that's something that you find later in the game. Hello yes. there. <gasps> what a beautiful librarian! I wonder what ancient magics and creatures are out there. <gasps> She's so cool! And her little theme music is adorable. I just always have to check things. Sorry. I'm annoying. Who goes? Icarus! Ah, yes. Lots of new paste faces rummaging about. If you read a book, put it back! If you need a spell, I've got the finest prices. And do keep your nose out of trouble. The times are changing. You don't understand? Listen, kiddo. There has not been a royal witch in thousands of years. With the royal princess becoming a witch, I bet all my coppers trouble ah, lives ahead. Ah, I can see your mind is as empty as your sail. Chop! What do you got? I guess these are little guys. Okay. Woo. Let's go back down into the lobby. And 
to see what other shenanigans we can get up to. Uh, she's so pleasant. Who are you? Don't tell anyone I have a crush on Harpy. Sorry. Royal Road. Wow. Hey. Well, hello there. This place is not for pre-alpha witches. Wow. Talk about gatekeeping. I'm just saying. gatekeepers. Please, tell me all about it. Tell me all about it. I just want to hear. where we spend the next four hours. That sounds good, bloody. Or, er, bunny. I keep calling everybody bloody and it's annoying. What's up here? This town is so cute. Are you... Are you gonna kill me, though? Like, I don't have any mana. I can't fight you. Oh, mining. Okay. I'll take a Charmander. Like, are these people or are they enemies? Because I'm scared. <laughs> this guy just wants to blow up the whole world. There, this music is bomb. I'm just saying. void and it killed me. Rip. Goblins picked your pockets. Carrions ravaged your body. Hey! Pressing the any key. <laughs> Alright, cool. I just started playing about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so I'm just like kind of going around and talking to people. You definitely know your shit, Hello. though. I think that's the big one. Oh my god, I love this guy. I got the first one. I got the little mushroom guy. I haven't figured out how to use my spells or anything. <laughs> and I, um... I just bit the dust, so... <laughs> We're figuring it all out. I have to equip him. Alright. 
So I have him here. Do I have to put him down at the bottom? Like down in where my apple is? And then use him? Go to equip. getting late. I better try to figure out how to get back to my home. Is it up here? <laughs> okay, there's the town. All right, we're going to get we're going to get back home so I can rest. Now you can now when you you can click slimes a new bar will pop up and you have two abilities to use to fight whatever you have targeted. Monsters will still try to attack you, so keep moving. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was I was a little um, I was not very good at combat. <laughs> not very good at the combat part, but we'll get there. I'm I'm sold on this game for the fact that my cute little guy is following. It. No, please, Grizzly Ben. <laughs> I am a total nutcase with this game, so. <laughs> The help is definitely appreciated. <laughs> the purple rocks are bad. I got this guy. Those are just birds. I don't have to fight them. Alright, we'll get back home so I can rest. We'll get started on tomorrow. What's that? It's shiny. I want it. Aha! No fight burps. That's perfect. That's good to know. I'm f I am like sandbox things, so this is kind of like my bad. So there's no overarching story that I have to like solve at this point. I have the unlimited pre-alpha, so I'm I'm happy for that so that I don't have to worry about running out of my four hours so I can just like play around and have fun. So I'm ex I'm really happy about that. It's so cute. Very, very cute game. Uh sleep. Is that my own ghost? Is that the is that the me who died earlier and she's coming back to hunt me? Oh, do I astral project? Oh, that's so cool! I astral project. That's so cool. What? The mirror doesn't want to talk to me. That's so neat! What a really cool concept! Wireless, I've come to bargain. <laughs> oh, what a really cool concept! You never see this anywhere! Oh, it probably has so many cool uses that they're going to do with it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm sorry. I'm such a loser. I'm just really excited by that. That's really neat. What a neat concept. There's really a lot of things that make this game stand out from like Stardew Valley or Pokemon and things like that. To be a something that kind of brings them all together is actually really cool. I love the concept of this game. I'm so excited to see how, how it keeps going. And they're so active on their Discord, which is really nice. Sorry, I have to keep hydrated. I got a massive migraine yesterday because I wasn't... That was really cool. That was really neat. I loved it. Alright, day two. Let's go 
try to let's go try to actually figure some stuff out. <laughs> My little guy. I love him. Pale hydration. I'm telling you. Oh, my little safe zone! <sighs> oh my god, finally a game where I don't have to sleep to save. I just, um, I just finished my time at Porsche this morning and I was like, oh my god. So happy for a game where I don't have to sleep to save. Can't kill you yet. Oh, you don't pass out? Oh, thank the lord. You get so used to certain types of games and how they work with things like that that it just like throws you off and you kind of just assume that all games do that to you. It's super nice if you're exploring. Yeah, exactly. That's actually really nice. I kind of want to explore my... I know it's stone. Don't judge me. That's really nice that you don't pass out and I don't have to worry about using all my little guys. Get all my stuff. Can I go in here? No. <laughs> Kinda does away with the whole weird pass out and someone mysterious. Yeah. Well, I liked in Stardew when you passed out, you woke up at the doctor's. And then the doctor charged you, obviously. You know, if it was America, you would have just lost all your money. That's the tea. <laughs> I'm so glad that I can just dick around all day in this game. <laughs> I don't worry about, like, passing out. It's so nice. I'm just gonna kick some leaves. <laughs> Lily just said that. <laughs> Grass seeds, cap seed, potato seed. I need to place some soil first, I think. Cap seed. We have to figure out how to get. I keep pressing I for inventory. I'm so annoying! I'm the worst! Let's get some soil. Oh! Look, we have spells! Ooh. Hey! Let's go find some slimes to wreck. Now that we're not, like, total weenies about it, let's go find some slimes. What's here? Nothing? I got that already. Alright. Day two. Let's go see what's down at the beach. Is he declaring that the royal raft? Now wait a minute. Oh, it's not available. <laughs> Sailors only, no pre-alpha witches. <laughs> I'm getting gatekeeped where I go. <laughs> oh, I know it's pre-alpha stuff, but it's just funny to me. I bet you this notice board has during the regular game is gonna have like little little quests and stuff for you to do. This is so cute. I can't deal with how cute this game is. Hey! Oh 
shop. I saw a troll once. I think my heart skipped a beat. Was he in love with the troll? That's okay. Fishing rod! I don't think I can fish yet. Can I fish? Let's buy it. I'm poor. I can't buy it. Can I sell him things? What can I sell you? Yes. Let's sell him some stuff. Wow, fishing rod's expensive. Let's sell him lots of things. Um, I'm gonna keep the potato seeds. We'll sell him the stone. Female trolls being only members of the horde, that's it's true. The rest of us just laying around. Save up for a fishing rod. That's where we're at, gang. We're gonna go some, gather some mats. So we can get a fishing rod. Make us some witchy money. Did I go in here before? I probably did. I have zero memory of anything. We did. We went in here. This house is so cute. I really like though that you start off in a house that's not like completely barren. That has like a bed and nothing else. <laughs> it's nice to, to start in a house that actually has some furniture in it. aren't mine that never stopped me before <laughs> did you know it's <laughs> I could look like cousin it if I wanted to I could pull it off but I did my makeup today and I don't want to oh rune calendar I guess that'll tell you like all the all little festivals and stuff that they're having what's here swords things like that <laughs> Oh, I like Ruby. I already stand. Popper. Rowdy Cape, that's me. Oh, Furnace, that's helpful. Rest in, let's all have a moment of silence for Bloody and his, his internet that doesn't work. <laughs> That was me last week. I lost my shit. I was so mad about it. <laughs> Sister Jude. <laughs> what movie did you go see today, Sister Jude? Or were you just at the movie theater hanging around, buying popcorn? I've never had the balls to do that, but I've always thought about doing it. Is going into the movie theater and just buying popcorn. Oh, Dr. Doolittle with your dad, that's so cute. <laughs> All right. I'm just like, ex I'm just enjoying exploring. Oh, the fancy theater with the recliner seats? I love those. I will pay the extra money to go in a fancy fancy recliner seat and just enjoy my time. If you're already price gouging me for this movie, I'll pay the three extra dollars for me to recline in my seat. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
this world for a pre-alpha this world is really fleshed out like it's it feels very alive and it's not like the days are very short and it makes me feel like oh i have to rush I wonder if they're going to release a, um, a, a little part of the game. Normally they'll have like the actual game and then the, um, and then the soundtrack. Because I really like the soundtrack for this game. I love this music. <laughs> oh, a tavern! Is this where I woke up? I think so. I said, this is where I woke up when I got beaten up by a rock. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Here we go. We gotta figure this out. I need my... I'm gonna die. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so we need to figure out how to have my chimera battle. So I don't know if I can catch that guy. I don't have... What are my spells? I die, I'm right there, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's just go. Ooh. I died right away. That's okay. We'll get there. Wow, buddy, that's so bad. My chimera brought me back to sound. Thank you. So let's go try to figure out how to actually battle. I think what I have to do is I have to... Okay, battle mode, right? I'm slowed down by the B. getting in there. It's a grumpy bee. Alright, we'll run this way. I'm gonna go to... Where's the witch's guild? Because if we don't have to worry about falling asleep, I want to go there and figure out combat. So let's go back up there. Let's go to combat. Let's figure that out. It, does, it looks very similar to Stardew. You're right. It's definitely got that same pixelated art. We are going to try to figure out how to do battle mode.
So we have to be zooming over it. And if we're zooming, okay. So you do have to manage your manage your mouse and make sure that you're over your target while moving around except for that Z. You can't do it. Magic Bash. The second one is Light Dart. And then how many times that you're charging it up is how much mana that you're using. on our health. I love that my little mushroom glows. It's so cute. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're gonna get there. <laughs> I didn't know there was a Pokemon event this weekend. I was I just beat the fairy gym in sword. Bye, bloody. Thanks for trying to come by. I appreciate it. Alright, we're gonna go try to fight those slimes to see if we can sort out all this battle stuff. sure that we are over him. I'm slow. Okay. We're getting there. Guys, we're doing it! Without dying. We just have to kite him. <gasps> we did it! We figured out how to do it. <laughs> we just have to kite him. All right, here comes the next guy. We are slime bashing champions right now. This game feels very rewarding once you stop being terrible at it. <laughs> Bunny is very nice. Bunny is the nicest person. That's so Okay, great. There's our workbench. Okay, recipes. We have some recipes now. We can make a bucket, a torch, a bottle, silk, a cooking cauldron, furnish, another workbench, a bowl, a bee box, a twig, food trough, Black powder, stone amulet, slimy helmet, quick bandana. Okay, cool. We can actually make some stuff down. Perfect. I keep wanting to shake my treehouse to get to get the um get the apples off of it. We get really used to that. Okay, now I want to. I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with the soil yet.
because once I can get the soil, I can plant some seeds. Oh! My witchery leaves level two. All right, cool. Where's my skills? Oh, look, I'm growing. Oh, this game is cute. Oh, I ate things. Random mi max raid battles with Gem 1 starters. Oh, cool. The place soil, place seed, add water. So do I need to just go to a stone deposit? Maybe this is something that I have access to later on. And I just don't have access to it yet. It's a very real possibility. It is a pre-alpha game. Can I get soil now? Mining spell is in the autumn forest. Okay. I guess we could just go there now because we don't have to sleep. So let's go that way. Midtown and then down. Oh my god, I'm so glad you don't run out of stamina. That's always such a huge pain in the ass in like any game that you play. <laughs> Alright, now we're in the autumn forest. Mountain trolls ahead, oh I'm float. Here we go guys. Level 18. I'm so screwed. Oh my god, there's a bee and a mountain troll. <laughs> nope. We're not going in that direction yet. We're not ready. We need to level up a little bit. <laughs> ah! Ooh, somebody sold the mining spell. I swear to god I saw it. You can pop into a couple of the Easter Pet shops. That was a rude awakening. <laughs> these are houses. And these are shops, I think. I would love it if at some point out close, okay. If at some point you would Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Um, if at some point like a game would make it where during the day it's a regular it's a regular house and then at night it turns into or during the day it's a shop and then at at night it turns into a house I think that would be so cool. <laughs> Like that in or something. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. It's where you go out and you go into the dungeons and you have to, like, fight through the dungeons to find the stuff that you can sell in your. Oh, shop. that's interesting. How do I find out what time it is? 
because now I don't think it makes sense to slip tumble. But I can't believe that troll was level 18, was so cool. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go and go back, find that mining spell. I swear to god I saw somebody selling it. I might just be crazy. But we'll find out. There we go. You mouse over and you can see what time it is. That's helpful. I don't know what that is. We'll figure that out. So we'll wait until 8 a.m. We'll see if any of these shops sell the mining spell. And if they sell the mining spell, then we'll pick that up. They've got about another minute. So my first impressions of this game were actually really good. Considering it's a pretty alpha game, it does feel pretty fleshed out aside from obviously the overarching story. But I do feel like it definitely needs to do a little bit more hand-holding with the combat. But when it comes to everything else, it's it's got the signs that tell you what to do. Um, it would be helpful to, to know that you know you gotta go buy a shovel or you have to go and do this or that which is really fun. The music is 10 out of 10 for sure. The sprite work is really, really well done. It just feels like a very cute game with a lot of really great potential. So I'm really actually excited to get such a deep first look into this game and to see where it's going. And I think that, you know, it's really, I'm really grateful that the developer does have it where you can be into the game you know, obviously it's been packs over the weekend, so it's, it was a good time to have the demo. Hi. All right, so he has chimera food, fish salmon, juicy apple. He's the one with the fishing rod. So what we need to do is we need to find. I swear to God, I saw somebody selling the the mining spell. So we're going to check a few more of these shops and see what we can find. But my first impressions of this game is that it is, it has been well thought out. They're obviously, they have a vision for where they want it to go instead of it just being another Stardew ripoff or another, because that's what everybody's just going to say. It's like, oh, it's just Stardew Valley and da da da, but it's not. Like, if it's a mix of different games, it seems like something that would interest a lot of different people in my opinion i mean i'm really interested i can't wait to see where it goes oh, you're your own statue i keep running into people get mowing them down oh it was icarus i think that had it let me go back to icarus Mr. Wireless has popcorn and that upsets me. Let's see. We'll go back up to the library. What's your practice? Cutting, mining. Hmm. So the mining spell from what I'm seeing is in that autumn forest with that giant troll. Which we're not currently ready for. Act like you're going to the fort. Okay, I'm gonna read the Discord. This is what we're gonna do. Act like you're going to the forest. Okay, I can do that. I can follow directions. I don't wanna go into the forest because it wrecked my day. All right, let's try 
try to go into the forest. Instead of going to the crossroad, there's a little path on the right. There's a farm. And behind... So it says to act like you're going to the forest instead of going to the crossroad, go right. This guy's gonna wreck my freaking day. Can I run from him? No. Oh, we gotta go. We're gonna get killed. Because we have two games to check out tonight, I am going to stop Sarah and Fate at this point. Um, I'm going to save, and then we're going to go into playing Garden Story. This game is really, really cute, and I'm actually really enjoying it. I can't wait to kind of like play around in it a little bit and figure out where I need to go. So we're going to save the game, and then we're going to switch over to, to Garden Story. But again, my first impressions of this game was as a pre-alpha game, it's actually really fleshed out and I'm really enjoying it. So I can't wait to kind of play a little bit more in it and see more and see where they where the developer goes with this. 